That night, around 8 p.m., someone shot inside his car, killing Hicks. Officers arrived at the gas station near 4600 Prospect. It's a tremendous loss, and it's hard to see it. It's tragic, especially tragic that they found him in his car because he worked really hard to get his license. Today is about you. Mayor Quentin Lucas spoke at his graduation, wanting the group to know they're loved and celebrated. That's the type of man we need in Kansas City. And that's the type of man where we will never know the amount of impact that the loss of his life has. Because it's not just his family now, it is so many people that he could have touched. On August the 27th, Patrick Hicks, 41, went to the gas station on 46th and Prospect. Patrick tried to pull into the parking lot, but he wasn't paying attention. He crashed into a car that was pulling into the parking lot. The driver and two passengers jumped out the car and opened fire on Patrick, striking him several times. The victim tried to pull off, but the demon stood on business. Patrick wrecked into another vehicle before pulling onto Prospect, where he wrecked into a third vehicle. The suspects fled the scene at a high rate of speed. Patrick was rushed to the hospital, where he was declared dead. The suspects are currently at large. The investigation is ongoing. If you know, seen, or heard who shot Patrick, please send me a message. Thanks. Okay, y'all are in a black Chrysler, okay? You got bumped in a Chrysler and you overreacted, okay? It was a Chrysler. It wasn't a Lambo. It wasn't a Rolls Royce. It wasn't a car that's like, that people like collect and stuff like that. It was a regular, degular, black Chrysler, okay? What was so special about that car? And it wasn't like it was a Hellcat. It was like a girl car. It wasn't a Hellcat or like a, a Corvette or, you know, like anything fancy like all the cool young people drive. It was some old black Chrysler, okay? It wasn't, it wasn't even a highly sought after Chrysler. It's like a Prowler or anything. It was just like a, it was a, um, it was a black Chrysler, okay? And uh, these guys hopped out of that Chrysler like you bumped into their mom, okay? All three guys, you know, hopped out this Chrysler and opened fire on this other guy for bumping into their car, okay? What happened to hopping out and getting the insurance, okay? Not hopping out and just start blinking. That just doesn't make any sense, okay? And um, like I say, the car wasn't even that valuable. The car looks like it was worth about two or three grand at the most, so these guys must have been really hard up and never been used to anything because they sure did love the car the way they was protecting it, okay? Now, you're on 46th and Prospect. At, the at one of the raggediest gas stations in Kansas City. Who goes to that gas station, okay? Nobody goes there. Nobody that likes their car gets gas from there. It's no reason to go there, okay? That thing, is, it hasn't been, the building or anything hasn't been upgraded since I don't know when. And it's just a bad area, like, I don't know how many people then lost their lives at that gas station, okay? So, to be going on 46 and prospect for anything at that store is just, it's just stupid, okay? Because nobody that smart goes to that store, so I don't know what Patrick was doing at that store, and I don't know what those dudes was going over to that store for, okay? Because if they like their car, why would they be getting gas there, okay? Because that's not good gas from there, okay? It's like some, just some, like I say, everything there is antique. Ain't no telling what's in the gas now. Okay. Okay, now this Patrick guy. How you didn't see, how you didn't see those guys in the Chrysler? Are you pulling out? Were you on your phone? Were you listening to the radio and really into a song? Or what? Because from the video, I clearly seen them pulling in, okay? Nobody that's in their right mind will pull out when another car is pulling in, okay? So I don't know if you did that on purpose or what, because 
you can clearly see that Chrysler pulling in there, okay? And that was the time to wait. No, you pull off and turn over into it. And they were moving before you even started moving. So you were in the wrong, okay? The Patrick guy, you were in the wrong, bro. You was you wasn't even like I say, they were they were moving, they were turning in. Your car hadn't even begun to move yet. You started moving real hard as they moved, as they came while they were in motion and ran right into them. So I believe that was a mistake on Patrick's part. But it still wasn't a reason to get blicked, okay? Now, um, this Patrick guy, I'm wondering, was he drunk? or what, or under some type of influence or something, because that car was right there, clearly in front of him, and for him to just drive into it, uh, I just don't understand that, so I don't know if he was drunk or what, because uh, that was something that a drunk person would do, just drive directly into a car that's right in front of you, and your car is not moving, uh-uh, no. Now, to the shooters, was it that serious? You hop out, you um, you execute this man for bumping into your Chrysler, all right? And um, the way y'all was shooting, it's a it's a wonder y'all didn't hit each other, okay? You, y'all knocking the glass out on your car. You know, you're almost hitting each other, all trying to hit this dude because he bumped your Chrysler. And it was probably your girl's or your, your baby mama's car, okay? You probably bought it to go to the store real quick and then somebody ran into it and that made you mad okay because all y'all hopping down and just gunning that guy down like that it just seemed like it was an overreaction and the guy that hopped out first he kind of he kind of kicked it off but the other ones had to be hopping out with the same thing on their mind because you know they didn't they didn't they didn't start going to get their blicks out of little areas or whatnot. They already had them out ready to go. Okay, they triple team this dude with blicks. All right. He got triple team with these blicks. And while they was jumping him, they didn't knock him out because he just kept driving. He drove across the street. Uh, he didn't make it that far. And um, he came to a stop right across the street. Now, these guys... Especially that guy that was in the uh, in a passenger seat, he was he was he was acting like a uh, loke dog off of "Don't be a, a menace to your don't be a menace in the hood while drinking your juice, don't be a menace to society while drinking your juice or whatever." Cause he's doing trick shots. He's all on the ground, like he's a type of Harlem Globetrotter you know, shooting down under his legs and then doing little shooting tricks and stuff. I never seen nothing like this, okay? These these dudes were, it was people out there watching this, okay? These dudes were showing out, okay? They wasn't just, you know, cause all it took was boom, or two times, boom, boom, and then walk away. Everybody was doing little shooting tricks and all that and throwing the blicks up, catching it and just doing all kind of just just going overboard with, like I say, they was showing out out there. It was people watching. These dudes hopped out, and they um, they blicked Patrick down, and they were showing out while the people watched them, okay? They was like they had a little crowd. I think they thought they was some type of, like I say, trick shooters or trick gunslingers, and they was, they was slinging guns, you know, they was slinging gunshots. They were slinging guns, okay? Like I said, dudes was going to the ground, doing all kind of special shots, and um, it was just uncalled for, okay? And it was people out there. A lot of people watched this, okay? And um, I'm wondering, why didn't anybody try to help this guy, okay? These It was guys out there, and they, they just went about their business. They looked, and when they seen the guys blicking, they just started moving a little faster, okay? And uh, they didn't help this guy. So that, that goes to show you when you're out, you got to be careful because it can be a bunch of people around and sometimes people won't help. Okay, and in that case, nobody helped him. Everybody watched, but nobody helped, okay? Nobody, you know, tried to chase the Chrysler or tried to be Superman or any of that. Everybody just looked, you know, let it happen and just was, you know, 
just in shock, you know. Some of them guys probably talk about that for the rest of the day. Probably some of the guys were probably even demonic enough to be impressed by it, okay? Because these guys, these demons, they were out there doing little demon shooting tricks, okay? And you can tell that wasn't their first time doing that. They didn't did that a bunch of times, okay? To somebody that's never licked or shot somebody, they don't hop out that quick licking, okay? Those guys, those were experienced gunslingers, okay? And, um... It doesn't make any sense to be showing out, doing that in front of people and nobody even turns this guy and this guy is still, this is still, case is still open, okay? So, it's messed up, uh, you know, that this happens uh, to this guy, you know, that he was gunned down in front of everybody while these demons were showing out. I'm out of here.